to like exactly when you miss a class you don't go lose aha uh -huh. okay yes like yasmi on thursday she missed the class she did not come on thursday ah uh, i don't know if you remember i remember <laughs> <laughs> yes okay well yeah let, let's let's check the homework real quick it was pretty easy um yeah let's check it uh, it's already very late these guys i don't know what's happening to them um so miss a class like you said is when you don't take the class and uh, what is complete a question complete a question Oh. Uh, number two, if B, you are supposed to do on time. No? Complete the question. All behind. If you fall, be behind on your work. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Number two in the, L the number two B. in exercise number B. Two. Exercise B, yes. The homework. Complete the homework. a question. Complete a, yes. Complete a question. Um, uh, to, to have a, uh, to have um, all necessary to to complete a question. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, okay. <laughs> complete a question. Okay, okay, let's see. Hello, Jackie, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. How That's are good. you? I'm good too, thank God. Hi, Yaki. Hello, All right. Uh, so, complete a question. I mean, you, look, th this is one thing that my English teachers always told me, Laurentina, and I'm going to tell you. You cannot, you cannot use this, the same word in the definition. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it has to be something different. Of course. <laughs> yeah. So complete a question. So what is a synonym for complete? Whole. No. Uh, a whole. So, yes. A whole. But it, it, and in that case, complete is an adjective. The complete. Ah. Pizza, yeah. the whole pizza. But I want you to use complete like a verb. Uh -huh. Complete. What is a synonym for complete? It starts with the F. Uh. Jackie and Ismael, feel free to help. A synonym for complete. Uh -huh. It starts with an F. F. The next full? letter is I. No, that, that is an adjective. Complete uh -huh. and full, they are synonyms. Well, that is an adjective. We're talking about the verb. The verb. Complete a test. Finish. 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 When you, when you complete a question, you finish the question. Or you answer the question, you know? <laughs> uh. Answer the question. All right. And when you turn in a test, what does this mean? What, what does it mean to turn in a test? Hmm? 
turn in a test. Jackie, what do you think it is? Turn in a test. To change up. When you. Uh, <laughs> when you finish the exam and. <laughs> yes. I don't know as no for turning uh, turn in turn in here teacher and give and give give oh my gosh <laughs> the, test the test to the teacher yes give the test gracias the test to the teacher. Uh -oh. oh my gosh, I received a good message. My neighbor is selling tortas. <laughs> well, so turning a test, when you finish a test and you, when you finish a teacher, when you finish a test and give it to the teacher, okay? That is turning the test. Um, what is finish a test, a synonym? or finish a test. Complete test. I write and uh, answer all the questions. Okay, complete the test is a good one. Answer all the questions. Yes. When you finish a test, you answer all the questions. You complete the test. All right, yes. Good job, good job, good job. So, like, you know, knowing the words is one thing, but explaining the words is another thing, you know. And if you can explain a word, it's it. a master, you know, it's, and it's, it takes practice. You have to practice a lot to be able to explain a word. Okay? And I don't know, guys, this is level B2. So, you know, when you have a, a high level of B2, you can teach other levels, A1 or A2, maybe even B1. So if you learn how to explain things, maybe you can, I don't know, be a part-time teacher or something. It could be <laughs> another option, all right? But very good, guys. So that is it, that is a homework. Now, I, I want us to do this activity right here. I am going to say a verb, and I want you to say a word that usually goes with that verb. For example, if I say miss, the other person can say a class, miss a test, miss my friend, you know, like miss extrañar, and also miss like no llegar. And so it's, there's different types of uses. Um, in English, you know, when you combine a verb and another word, those are usually called collocations when you put two words together that are normal normally together so let's see let's see how how much vocabulary you have you're good with vocabulary everybody the first word and this one is for you Lorentina is eat oh. eat what word usually goes with eat I, I eat an, an orange. Eat an orange. Jackie, drink. Play the... Sorry, Lorentina, what happened? Your, your, your um, video cut. Yes, I have problem with my internet. But what did you say though? Yeah. I need to. Okay. It's better. I think so. Yeah, it is good. Um, <laughs> yeah. It, um, I must explain 
the word it. No, no, no. no. I, I just want you to say one word or two words that go with that verb. For example, uh, eat food, eat uh, an apple, eat yes. you know, something that usually goes with oh, that word. Holy. Uh -huh. yeah, like combinations. We're making combinations. Okay. Jackie, okay. drink. Drink. Drink water. Drink water. Very good. Ismael. Ismael. Ismael, take. What? <laughs> Ismael, take. Uh huh. Uh huh. No, no, no. Man, where are you? A, a word that usually goes with take. Get? No. Like, for example, I, I told Laurentina a word that goes with eat. She says, eat an apple. Jackie, I said, drink, drink water. Oh, and you okay, use my okay. take. Take notes. Take notes. All right, very good. Um, let's see, Laurentina, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, read. Read a book. Read a book, very good. Jackie, catch. Catch a ball. Catch a ball, very good. Ismael, finish. It is my exam. Finish your exam, very good, my friend. Um, a difficult one now for everybody, a difficult one. Laurentina, affect. Affect. <laughs> affect the health. Affect my health, very good. Jackie, um, let's see. Turn in. Turn in my test. Turn in my test. Very good. Ismael, um, watch. Watch a movie. Watch a movie. All right. Hello, Yasmin. How are you? I'm good, thanks. thanks. Right, great. So, so um, yes, I mean, right now we're doing an activity where I say a verb and you give me a word that usually goes with that verb. So we're making like combinations, you know, like take a class, finish my test, eat an apple. Okay. So now your word is right. Right. A song. Write a song. Okay. Lorentina. Um, play. Play football. Play football. Jackie. See. See. Uh oh. See the sunset. Can't know. Yes. No. Uh. That is watch, watch the sunset. See. Okay, we're gonna come back to you. Ismael, get, get. I get up. Get up. Yasmin, do? My homework. Do my homework, Laurentina. Read. read read a book read a book jackie do you have something for yours i remember the word the sentence see you see you okay that's perfect oh, see, see you <laughs> yes yes that is perfect all right good good well that's all i just wanted to activate your brains a little bit um so today, you know, the objective is the same as on Thursday. And for those of you who don't remember, 
Um, well, first I gotta tell you the date, October 19, 2020. The objective for last week, does anybody have it written down? What was the objective last week? Can somebody tell me or do I have to write it without being told? The objective for Thursday, what was it? The order, our event about the past. Very good, to order our events about the past. And I told you, you know, we're going to use the past perfect and the simple past. And the simple past. Exactly, exactly. And um, the page is the same, page um, 32. Uh -oh. oh, 33. And um, oh, yeah, that is all. Remember, the order, the order is important. The past perfect happened first. The past perfect happened first. The simple past happened afterwards or next, okay? Afterwards, next, it's the same thing. And this is when you were talking like chronologically, okay? Chronologically. Chronologically speaking, the past perfect happened first. The simple past happened afterwards, okay? Remember the formula, the formula for the past perfect is had, or if it is negative, you can say hadn't, plus the verb in past participle, okay? The verb in past participle. And the simple past, well, that's, all you gotta do is use the verb ed, or, 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 the irregular past verb, you know, like drink, you don't say drink, you say drank. Or get, you don't say get it, you say got. Those are irregular. And of course, if it is, if it is negative, then you say didn't plus the Infinitive verb. Okay, and, and those are like the formulas. Let me tell you about a situation. John had eaten two bowls of pozole and immediately swam, so he got cramps. Oh, he was swimming, he was hurt. Okay. Now, what happened first? He swam and got cramps, or he ate the two bowls of pozole? What happened first? Anybody? Did this happen first? Or this happen first? What happened first?
What happened first? Had eaten two bowls of pozole. Yes, he had eaten two bowls of pozole. All right. Now, with, with that being said, please open your book to page 33. Can I take this information off of the screen and go to the to the book? Is it okay? Okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. Great. Yeah, so please go to page 33. Let's see, uh, we're not gonna do exercise 2A, it's not necessary. So right here in the grammar chart, it's explaining the same thing that I have explained. Um, the past perfect happens before another event in the past, okay? So let's, we, we understand that, you know, we, we have, we recently saw this in level four about the past perfect so this is kind of like a review but jackie can you read in conversation please people often use the past perfect to be personal or explanation i didn't know her name because i never thought to ask her excellent thank you ismael read exercise 2b To me? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. To me? Yeah, yeah like two? two and then B. Ah, that is the title. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Complete the anecdote with the verbs given. Use one simple pass and the one pass perfect verb in each sentence. All right, yes. So in each sentence, that means in one sentence, you have the simple past and the past perfect. One and one. Not simple past and simple past or past perfect and past perfect. No. One. Simple past, one past perfect for one sentence. Let me help you a little bit. We're gonna do the first sentence together. You know, when you do these types of exercise, you need to think logically. Think logically, what happened first? Put yourself in the person's shoes. What happened first? Um, so right before I move here, I lose my job. Hmm. What happened first? You move or you lose your job? Think about that. What do you think happened first, um, Yasmin? This person moved first or they lost their job first? What happened first? Yasmin, are you there? Move. The person moved first and then they lost their job? Or they lost their job and then moved? I think move. Okay, so you think this person moved and then lost their job? Well, if you have a job, you know, you probably wouldn't move. But if you lose it, then maybe you could move. So in this case, you lose your job first. This is the first thing that happens. So you need to put that in this in the past perfect. 
I lost. So right before I moved here, I'd lost my job. I had lost my job. You lose your job and then you move because, well, you are sad. You want a new life, something different, okay? Now I want you to complete this. Well, no, I want to make sure that you understand. So let me help you with the next sentence. Lorentina, can you please read the next sentence? I, um... You don't have to answer it. Just say, I not have an interview for weeks. I, and I, be... I not have an interview for weeks and I be. Um, con be concerned, you know, and I think about going back to school. No, that's it. Just one sentence. Okay. B. Okay. So think about it. I not have an interview for weeks and I be concerned. What happened first? You don't have an interview and then you're concerned? Or you are concerned and then you don't have an interview? Don't have an interview. Okay, the so first. what do I put there? What do I put there? Hadn't had. Very good. I hadn't had an interview for weeks and I... What? And I was concerned, you know? Exactly. Okay, so please finish exercise B. Just B, don't do exercise C. And I thought about going back to school, but actually I didn't want to. And then out of the blue, I got an email from an old friend that I hadn't contact in age. I hadn't contacted in age. Okay. Um, guys, do you have the that or do you have something different? Please tell me. If you have something different, tell me so we can see what's going on. The first one. I have different. What did you put? Only, only top. Ah, you only put top. Yes. And, but over here you put didn't want? Yes, didn't want. Okay, okay. Now, th that would have been correct, Lorentina, because it makes sense. But, um, and the instruction says one simple past and one past perfect. Yes. So it has to be one yes. and one. Uh -huh. Yes. It was, okay. This, this okay. one is very specific. You know? Uh-huh. Okay. okay. Very good. Ismael, Yasmin, any questions? Okay. Take that as a no. And Ismael, please read exercise C. Complete the rest of the anecdotes with the past perfect or past perfect continuous form, form of the verb given. Sometimes words are possible. They take time readily, readily, readily the history to the partner. Very good. I, I love your persistence, man. All right. Re retelling. Okay. Retelling. Um, so in this case, we need to use one past perfect or the past perfect continuous. Now, in, in this case, it doesn't say one and one. In this case, you can combine the past perfect two times or the past perfect continuous two times if it is possible. Now, the only thing is that there is a big difference, well, a small difference between the simple past perfect and the past perfect continuous, okay? Now, the past perfect continuous is something that was happening 
you know, for a while. It is ongoing, maybe temporary, okay? So if I say, if I say I had struggled with my class, it means I had a difficult time with my class. I had struggled with my class. But if I say I had been struggling with my class, it's like saying I was struggling with my class. That means it is, you know, a longer period. It is ongoing. It is happening in my story. Now, when do I use the continuous and when do I use the normal version? Remember that usually some actions, they can only happen one time and they're fast. Like graduating, graduation, that is one event that happens in a few hours. It is not long. Um, what's another one? Um, buying, a, buying a car, bought a car, usually something fast, okay? But whenever something takes a long time, studying, like I, I had been studying French for a long time. That, that is something that takes a while, okay? Remember, the continuous form is the longer action. Remember that. So let's look at the first, the first sentence. It continues. And it turned out that he started up his own company. Now, when you start, is this something that happens fast or it's something that takes a long time when you start? Think about that. When you start, it's a, it's a long action or a fast action? Fast, fast, right? When I think of start, I think of the button on the Xbox or the button on the PlayStation, the button on the new cars. You press the button and it starts. It's something quick, right? So right here, we're going to use the past perfect, simple. Had started up. And it turned out that he had started up his own company. You can use a contracted form. He'd, he'd started up his own company. That's fine too. So, and it turned out that he had started his own company, but he struggled to find someone to work for him for some time. Struggle for some time, for some time. Does that mean that it was a short action or a long action? Long action. So what am I going to use on the end? The simple past perfect or the past perfect continuous? Past perfect continuous. Okay, so how do I do that? The past perfect continuous, Valentina. He has been, been? Str struggling. Struggling, yes. Uh, All right. Or you can use the contracted form. He'd been struggling, and that's fine. Okay. So now I want you to finish this anecdote, and you have two minutes. Um, and it turned out that he had to start up his own company. Would he be in a strong wind? to find someone to work for him for something. And he hadn't found, find, found it, no. Yeah, found it. And it's yeah. suitable. Suitable. Suitable, okay. Well, actually, he'd been hitting the one woman. That is, he'd hired. Uh, Would, would she would she be quitting after the first month? 
This guy should quit. Okay. Uh, because he hadn't been able. To travel some more. Anyway, I'd been looking for a job in sales and he offered me the job. So yeah, I learned to support to keep in touch with people. Exactly. So Ismael, you got two of them wrong. Um, let's talk about why they were wrong. Now, when you hire a person, that means to contract a person, um, you know, to give them a job. When you do that, it's, it's a process. You know, first you give your application and um, what else? And, and then you have the interview, but when you hire a person, it's yes or no. You know, it's very quick. It happens right there at the moment. It doesn't take a long time. So when it's a short action, it's simple, okay? And the same thing when you quit, when you quit, I mean, you think about it, you think about it maybe for some weeks or some months, but when you actually quit, quit, it's quick. You know, it's quick when you quit. Okay, I'm finished. I don't want to work here anymore. You know, that is like a few minutes, it's a quick decision. So since it is a fast action, we use the simple form, okay? And that is all. All right. Teacher, well, quit, quit is the same. Quit uh, participle. Quit, quit. Or have. You, you, you have a good point. Let me confirm. Let me confirm. Quit. Past participle. I think it is. Yeah, it's the same. Quit, quit, quit. Mm -hmm. I have heard people say quit it, but I don't know if that is grammatically correct. According to this English dictionary, it is not correct. Quit, quit. Quit, okay. Let me check another dictionary just in case because you know, maybe one dictionary is different than the other. Quit. You can use both, Laurentina. What? You can say quit it or quit. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Well, that, this guys, um, the past perfect is probably one of the most important grammar pieces that you need to know. If you take the TOEFL, um, the past perfect is going to be about 30% of, of all the grammar on that test, 30%. Um, same thing with the San Diego test. The San Diego test, the past perfect is like 40%. Cambridge, also like 40% past perfect. Uh, so this is something very important to, to know, okay? So I have more exercises, you know. I, the only way that we can improve this is by having a lot of practice. So I'm gonna, I wanna show you um, this other exercise that I have. Let's see. Here we go. We have 10 sentences right here, okay? 
you don't need to write anything. I just want you to tell me, you know, like I said, try to order your events. What happened first? What happened next? Think about when you wake up, what do you do first? You brush your teeth and maybe you get dressed or do you get dressed and then brush your teeth? I don't think so because you would get toothpaste on your clothes. So you get, you brush your teeth and then you get dressed, right? So after Fred to spend his holiday in Italy, he to want to learn Italian. Hmm. What do you think happened first? Well, there's only one option. After Fred to spend his holiday in Italy, he want to learn Italian. To spend his holiday is the first. Yeah, so you have pa two options. Pa Simple past pa or past perfect. After what? Had spent. Okay, after Fred had spent his holiday in Italy, he... Wanted. Wanted, yes. Very good. Jackie, number two. Jill want that hour before she had to leave for her trip. Jill found that at work before no, 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 she no, no. had left. Okay, tell me. Leave. Had found oh, okay, okay. and left and left, right? Jill had phoned dad at work before she left for her trip. First, she calls her dad, then she goes on her trip. Number three, Ismael. Susan. I don't know. Variety of the few dishes. Dishes. Susan had turned on the radio after she washed the dishes. Hmm. I don't think so. Look, over here we have after subject in the past perfect. And over here you have after, after subject. So here you should put the past perfect. So try it again, Ismail. Susan, turn it on. Turn on the radio after she had washed. After she had washed the dishes. Now, let me translate that to you. So it can make a lot of sense. Because if you think of after, you think después. But sometimes after is después. But not in this case. Susan prendió el radio, o la radio. Susan prendió la radio después de haber lavado los trastes. Okay, Susan prendió la radio después de haber lavado los trastes. Okay, so whenever you see after plus she, después de, and whenever you see after plus the verb ing, it is después. Okay. All right. There is a big difference. Después de. All right. 
Significa que la cosa que viene después de lo hizo primero. All right. And after plus the verb ing is different. Let me show you. Suzanne had turned on the radio after washing the dishes. We're going to put three A. Suzanne había prendido la radio después de lavar los trastes. That's the sentence that I wrote. Esa es la oración que yo escribí. Suzanne había prendido la radio después de lavar los trastes. O sea que primero lavó los trastes y después prendió la radio. All right, and number three, Suzanne turned on the radio after she had washed the dishes. Suzanne había prendido la radio después de haber lavado los trastes. Okay. Um, in this case, primero lavó los trastes y se prendió la radio. Okay. En la oración que yo escribí, it's the same thing. But it, it has the difference between the verb ing and the subject, okay? Any questions, comments, concerns? Yeah, so which one is the correct answer? The, the, the one that we wrote in um, this one, okay? So what I want you to remember is si el after tiene un sustantivo or she, after she, after Fred, es muy probable que esa parte de la oración sea pasado perfecto, okay? Do you understand that, Jackie? Yes. Okay, I'm going to write that down. After plus subject plus past perfect. Okay. Ahora, eso solo pasa si en la otra parte de la oración hay un verbo en el pasado. Okay. Si no... Hay un verbo en el pasado, pues, pon ese verbo después de after the subject en el pasado. ¿Ok? Una parte tiene que ser pasado simple y la otra parte tiene que ser pasado perfecto. So, we're, we're going to see that again. Don't worry. It's and these other ones over here. So, when she, to arrive the match, already to start. Laurentina. Uh, when she arrived. Mm -hmm. Oh. I don't know. Come on, you got this. When she arrived, the match. Uh, the match had. Mm -hmm. Had Had what? Oh, I don't know. Ah, come on, Valentina. Had already. The past perfect does not change. 
Sometimes you can I don't add. Know. <laughs> sometimes you can add um, an adverb, like already, but it's still the same. Had and the past participle. Okay. What is the past participle of started? Well, <laughs> I said it. <laughs> started. Started. Yes. Had started. Yes. When she arrived, the match had already started. Okay. already. All right. I'm going to write some more keys over here. So it, when we look at number four, if we have two verbs and one of them is simple past and one of them is past perfect, the one that will be simple past is the one after when. Okay, the one after when. When, simple past. Remember that, please. When plus subject plus simple past. Uh -huh. And remember, this only works if you have two verbs in the yeah. past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if I am talking about the future, it, this does not apply. This is only for the past perfect and simple past. Okay? okay. Now, number five should be easy because we know there is after and then the subject. So, Yasmin, tell me, what is number five? Come, came, come. Came. Hold on, what? Came. No, it's come. This, this is a weird word. It's come, came, come. I don't know. I don't even know why that is. But yeah. Finish it, Jasmine. Why does mm -hmm. it? Bed. Um, when you feed somebody or feed an animal, you give food to the animal. Okay? Um, so I'm going to explain that. But first, let me explain this. The verb come, came, come. Present, past, past participle. Why does it return to the present? I don't know. I, English is weird. And then feed, fed, fed. And feed means to give food to someone or something. Okay. You know, like a mom, a mom feeds her baby. She gives food to the baby. Um, well, I guess parents, the dad can too, but not this food, uh, other food like Gerber, maybe some applesauce. Um, but yeah, feed to give food to something or someone. Laurentina, do you feed your cats or does Ellie feed the cats? I the cat. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, you're you're the mama I, cat. <laughs> both. <laughs> All right. Yes. We have two more of the street, but uh, they uh, eat he here. Oh uh, yeah. I fed four cats. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're the mama cat. Yes. <laughs> All right. That's cool. And well, ooh, this is a good one. Number six. Ismael. What is number six, my friend? Before he. I don't remember singing. Oh, oh, you need the verb? Sing, sang, song. Sing, sang, song. 
send. And a song uh, he had played. Before he sang a song, he had played the guitar. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Very good. So this one is kind of like um, when. So, you know, when and before. You use it with a simple past, okay? Before, he, simple past. It's like when. When, subject, simple past, okay? Write that down. That will probably help you so much in the future when you take your tests. Um, Ah, number seven is easy. Jackie, that one is for you. Watched a video after the show had gone. Very good. Had gone. She watched a video after the children had gone to bed. Yes, first the children go to bed, then you can finally watch your video. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be the difficult thing about having kids. Can't you don't have free time? Um, number eight, Yasmin. It's a piece of cake. Great pause. He. It. Oh, yeah. This is this is British English. Um, phone is like the same thing as call, but it's British. So in the United States, we say call. In the UK, they say phone. All right. Let's see, Laurentina, number nine. Huh? Oh my gosh. Dramatic effect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was very tired because I had studied too much. I studied too much. Very good, thank you. And yes, like um, like it said in the book, you know, after because we normally use the past perfect. Now, not all the time, not all the time. Like when you're given a reason about the present, well, you don't need the past perfect. But if you're given a reason about the past, like why were you late? Oh, I was late because I had gotten on the wrong bus. You know, you're given a reason, you use the past perfect. But if you say something general, like I like tarascos because pastor is delicious, you know, that in that case, you don't use the, the past perfect. But for a reason about the past, yes, yes, yes. Okay. And number 10, let's see, number 10, Yasmin. Ms. Herrera? Right. Sorry, what? Their friends right. Oh, they. They friends right. 
Hold on. Let me let me tell you the past participle of ride. Ride, road, ridden. Okay. Remember, right here we have before. Today, friends have ridden. Okay. Their bikes before the net. Yes, that one's another one. Meet, met, met. Meet, met, met. Right, let's check our answers. Of course, of course. 10 out of 10. Viewpoint. <laughs> 430. B2. Okay. And, um, well, Guys, honestly, I think out of all of the out of all of the lessons that are going to be in this book, this is probably the most important one. Um, when it comes to taking a test, like I said, it's very this right here, the past perfect is a big portion of all proficiency tests, every single proficiency test. I don't know why in, in real life this is not common you know yes it is used it is used um you use it when you want to speak formally in documentaries and um things like that but in, in a normal conversation we don't use this not a lot you know maybe we maybe normal people uh, they speak incorrectly and that's why they don't use it, but it, this is not common at all. It's not common. But in our case, you know, we are not, you know, the normal native speaker. You know, we have to speak correctly because people already have this idea like, he's Mexican, he doesn't speak correctly, or she's Mexican, she doesn't know English. So we need to, you know, speak correctly so people can know that, oh, this guy is, this guy, this guy is intelligent, or this woman. She knows a lot of things. So it's important for me, and I hope that it is important for you to learn this. Um, for your homework, I will, I will send you this link so you can practice a little bit more about this topic, the simple past versus the past perfect, okay? If you don't have these things in your notes, please write them in your notes, okay? After, when, before, because, those are big, big, big things about the past perfect. Now, I have, I have some more exercises and we're gonna do these exercises for um, three more minutes, okay? I know, more exercises, yes, more exercises because it's important, it's important, man. Mm, let's see, here we go. Can you see this? Yes. Okay, now this, this exercise is a little bit easier because, well, it's, it's, it's easy, and I, I will show you why. Number one, anybody, anybody can answer. Please help me, don't, don't be quiet. Number one, we had already eaten when John came home. Came home, yes. Remember, after when, we use what? <laughs> the simple uh, fast, okay? <laughs> the simple fast after when, okay? okay. And um, last year. Now, in this sentence, you have one verb, one verb. Whenever you only have one verb, just use the simple past. 
okay? Use a simple past unless this sentence is connected to other sentences and the other sentences already have the simple past, then you use the past perfect, but you need context. In this case, it's just a sentence. We don't have any context. So just use the simple past. What is a simple past? Last year, Juan, Past. Past. All right. Thank you, Lundina. You, you're very participative. Now <laughs> let's, let me, I'm going to talk to the other ones. Jackie, yeah. number three. Got. Got. When I got to the airport. Very good. Why got, Jackie? Because we have when. Exactly. Very good. And um, Ismael, number four. Bob. Bob. Then I bought some milk. Yes, yes. Fui a la biblioteca, después compré leche y me fui a mi casa. Okay. Now, this is simple past because primero fui a la biblioteca. Esto hubiera sido pasado perfecto. I had went, uh, sorry, I had gone to the library. Okay, porque fue la primera acción. Y después compré leche all right but i don't know why but but is correct okay because it happened second number five yasmin I had forgotten. I had what? Forgotten. Forgotten, yes. Forgotten. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Ah, number six, Lorentina. When we arrived. When we arrived, question. yes. Why arrived? Uh, because the train had already left uh -huh, exactly and we also have when okay. after when you use the after class. yes all right jackie number seven broke so we got home to find that someone broke into our house So what happened first? You got home or somebody oh, broke into your house? Had broken. Had broken, yes. Wow, that must be sad. You come home and your house is destroyed. Um, number eight, Ismael. Okay. No, it's like it's like number seven. To find that someone. To find that uh, someone. To find that someone. Uh, to we ate, no, eaten. Had eaten, yes. Had eaten, oh my chocolate, oh my gosh. When you leave the gancito in the refrigerator and then your little brother eats it. I opened the fridge to find someone had eaten my gancito. Number <laughs> nine, Yasmin. What? Got, why? It has the, when, the when, like. Bingo. And number 10, Lauren. Julie was very pleased to see that John had cleaned the kitchen. Had, had cleaned, yes. First John cleaned the kitchen and that's why Julie was pleased. Okay guys, well, our time is running up, but um, how do you feel about the past perfect? 
it's a little easier now, right? Now. A, a little. <laughs> a little more, yeah, a little more easily done than in the past. And we're gonna practice, you know, this is not the last time we're going to see the past perfect. We're going to see it again in many lessons because the past perfect is the foundation for other grammar, okay? Oh. So it's the foundation. All right, guys. Well, like I said, I'm gonna be sending the link and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Have a okay. great night. Thank you, teacher. See you. See you. See you guys, bye.